today we will see how to get started with WhatsApp Cloud API. Well, there are certain prerequisites like the Meta Business Manager account, Meta Developer account and a Meta app with WhatsApp enabled in it. In case you are unfamiliar with these terms, don't worry. We will take you through the entire process of setting up WhatsApp Cloud API and cover all the steps from start to end. So let's get started. First of all, we'll create Facebook Business Manager account, also known as Meta Business Manager account. So let's get started. Open business.facebook.com. If you have a Facebook account, click on login. Otherwise, you can simply click on create an account. I'll log in with Facebook. Once you're logged in, you should be able to see a screen similar to this one. Here you simply go to the drop down and create a business account. Here you need to type the name of your business. Hit next. Hit create. We can simply move on to the next step. Click next and confirm. All right, so our business account is already created. Now that our account is created, we need to update certain settings. So let's click on the go to settings button. Click on more business settings. Once you're in this page, go at the bottom, scroll down to business info button. Click on business info. Here we're going to update our business details. Alright, so we've updated all the details for our business. At this point, you would want to check your email and see if you received any email from Facebook. I'll just open my email. And here we can see that we need to confirm our business email address, which we used to create our business account. Click on confirm now. The email is verified and we're finally done with creating Meta Business Account. With this, we can now move on to the next step which is creating a meta developer account if you already have a meta developer account you can skip this part open developers.facebook.com in a new tab now click on get started so click on continue enter your phone number you should be getting an otp on your sms Enter the code, hit continue. Click on I agree and then simply confirm your email. And you can choose any of these options. Alright, with this we complete the second part which is registering the Meta Developer account. This brings us to the final step, which is creating the Meta app. Click on Create App button. Select Business and hit Next. Enter a display name. Select the connected business account and click on create app. Enter your password. Click on submit. Okay, so the app is now created. Well, there's a lot of information here. You can just ignore it and scroll to the bottom. 
Now look for the WhatsApp card on the bottom. Click on setup button. Hit continue and click on start using the API. Now you can scroll down to the bottom and click on add phone number. Here you can give a display name that you would want to associate with this number on WhatsApp. Choose the category, hit next. Now you have to select a phone number that you'd like to connect to your WhatsApp cloud API. The number that you select here should not be previously connected on WhatsApp mobile, WhatsApp business or any other WhatsApp API services. Now we will validate this phone number by sending an OTP over text message. In case you are using a landline, you can also choose phone call. Hit next. Enter the code. Click next. Alright, so we have added the phone number. Click on configuration followed by manage phone numbers. Now it opens WhatsApp manager. Now go to phone numbers in the menu. Here you can see the phone number that we just added. Now go to settings. Go to profile. If it shows the display name here, that means it's approved. Usually it takes anywhere between 2 to 24 hours for the display name to be approved. With this, we are all set to link WhatsApp Cloud API with Engage by Easy Social. Ideally, we are done with all that's required to set up WhatsApp Cloud API. But still, we feel it's important for you to know about business verification. When your business is verified, you can officially get higher sending limits for your cloud WhatsApp API. Also, you will be eligible to apply for official business account that is the green tick which appears next to the profile name. So now we will quickly dive into meta business verification. Let's open business.facebook.com. Here click on the gear icon next to your business. Go to more business settings, scroll down and click on security center. Here you can see start verification button, click on it, click on get started. If you do not see the business details here, you can manually feed those. Hit next. Now you need to upload certain documents. You can click here and see the documents which are accepted by Facebook. Check the second document which could be required and upload the same. Now you can click on the next button. Select email or phone number, whichever is convenient. Send email. So let's check our email. So we've received an email from Facebook. Enter the confirmation code and you're done. So the verification of this company is in review. It takes anywhere between a few minutes to a couple of days for the review to get completed. So let's reload and check. Once the review is completed, it should look something like this. With this, we conclude our guide for WhatsApp Cloud API. 
We hope that you are able to get started within minutes. If you still face any issues, please feel free to write in the comment box and we will be happy to assist you. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.